In this video, I want to show you that the inverse matrix that you find is unique to that matrix, okay, your starting matrix. And the reason why um, I say this is because we understand through matrix multiplication that that is not generally commutative. So when I write down uh, the product of the two matrices AB, that is not in general equal to BA, okay? So why would it therefore be given that if I'm multiplying a by a minus 1, that that should be the same as this, and hence the identity matrix. Why should that be the case? Okay, so this is what we really want to investigate. We want to make sure that this is the case, that it doesn't matter in which order we do things. If that is the case, okay, if the order doesn't matter, that must mean that the inverse matrix must be unique okay, to um, the original matrix, okay, there is only one uh, reverse process, okay, that we need to deal with. Now, in order to show that, I need to multiply A by A minus 1 to get the identity matrix, and I must also multiply A minus 1 by A to get the identity matrix. I need to do it in both directions, and that will show that it doesn't matter which way round I do it. So I'm going to do A, A minus 1. Uh, to start off with. So I've got A, B, C, D being multiplied by this 1 over A, D minus B, C, lots of D minus B minus C, A. Now, this is just a constant term, so I can bring that out the front. That's not going to make any difference uh, if I bring it out to the front. Then I've got A, B times by D, C, so A, D minus B, C. I've got AB multiplying with minus BA, so minus AB plus AB. I've got CD multiplying with D minus C, so CD minus CD. And then I've got CD multiplying with minus BA, so I'm going to get minus BC and an AD, so i.e. AD minus BC. So these terms here, you can see, are going to cancel. So we've got 1 over AD minus BC. And AD minus BC, 0, 0, AD minus BC. And of course now I can bring the A, 1 over AD minus BC back into the matrix. AD minus BC divided by AD minus BC will be 1. And so this is just the identity matrix, okay, as we wanted. Right, so now I need to do it the other way around. So A, minus, A to the minus 1, A. So we've got 1 over 8D minus BC, D minus B uh, minus C, A, A, B, C, D. So the 1 over AD minus BC can stay where it is. We've got D minus B times by AC, so A, D minus BC. We've got D minus B multiplying with BD, so B, D minus B, D. Minus CA multiplying with AC, so minus AC plus AC. And minus CA multiplying with BD, so I get it a minus BC, I'm going to get an AD, so an AD minus BC. This diagonal, both of those elements will be zero. So AD minus BC, zero, zero, AD minus BC, like so. And of course, when I multiply through by the 1 over AD minus BC, I'm going to get 1, 0, 0, 1, which is the identity matrix. So, what I've shown then is multiplying a matrix by its inverse is commutative. It doesn't matter which way round you do it. The consequence of that is that the inverse matrix is always unique. So there are no two inverse matrices that will do the same job with different values okay, uh, in their entries. There is only one. Okay? There can be only one. And this shows that to be the case.